All right. I know it's been a while since I've been, uh, uh, it's been a while, because hell, I need a new haircut now. <laughs> but it's been a while since I uh, uploaded a video. Things have been crazy, uh, kind of hectic, um, you know, life. Um, anyway, we're about to come up in here and we're gonna do a quick arm workout. Normally I would be doing this walking on my way to the gym, but this song is on. <laughs> Wow, boy, this is my jam right here. This is one of the jams. Showing my age. Okay. Well, George Michael got his money already, so let me go in here and get mine. Get money. So, short arm workout. I know I was... <clears throat> Okay, that was not my stomach blowing the horn. That was my bag. I know I said uh, I was going to do the question answer once I got the 50 subscribers and it's on the way so you know what though let me show y'all something this dude has a nice car let me show you how this dude parked though he parked in the middle of the street see that car right there i know the sun is there but why the hell would you park in the middle of the street <laughs> see that's the street behind me and that's a car that's not a parking space nice car too I'm gonna be sitting there looking like what's old buddy does the car car commercials Matthew McConaughey He's sitting there like when somebody hits his stuff all right well Jim arm workout here we go okay we're gonna start this workout this arm workout with the rope press downs this is one of my favorite uh, exercises for the triceps um, as such, usually uh, if I do like a shoulder workout or a chest workout, um, my triceps get get work with those. So I usually end those workouts with press downs um, or pull downs. So what I did this time was I wanted to start the exercise off with it because I kind of I kind of do them a bit too much as opposed to other tricep exercises. Uh, to finish, um, you know, after I finish them, then, you know, I'm ready, you know, I'm pretty much ready to be done. Uh, this was a warm-up set here. So what I did here was just decided to uh, do them first in my workout and get them over with. And then, you know, that way I'd be forced to go ahead and do a different uh, exercise. This shirt, <laughs> this is a huge shirt. This is actually an old, old, old shirt, and I just cut it uh, back when I used to wear my clothes like extra, extra, extra large. It's maybe a, a triple X shirt. And uh, so, you know, I'm still big as I'll get out, but it's making me look bigger just how big the shirt is. Okay, so um, what I did here was the the rope was hanging too low. So as that second set, uh, I grabbed it up a little higher so I can get some more you know range of motion. And this time I kind of stepped back so I can get uh, a longer range of motion because it wasn't you know giving me that range of motion because the rope was hanging too low. Did five sets. Um, moved on to work on my biceps. Uh, my favorite uh, bicep exercise I think I like to do is probably just a hammer curl. I don't do uh, biceps that much um, because, you know, with your back workout, your biceps are getting work. And then after I do the back and biceps, I mean, after I do my back uh, exercises, I usually just grab some dumbbells and knock out some some hammer curls um so being that this is just an arm workout so i needed to go ahead and, and uh you know work on them this weight i believe i had to stop and think about it because that first set uh was kind of awkward i'm probably singing something here 
I believe with this set, um, I forgot what the weight was. This is, uh, did I say this was called a preacher curl? Okay, this is a preacher curl. I forgot the weight here. It looks like, but, um, you know, after about like the sixth or seventh rep, I started to like really feel it. You can see the sweat just starting to come out of my forehead from out of nowhere. And now I'm really starting to feel it. My reps are slowing down. And I think at one point I make a mistake here. And I'm going to leave this mistake in if I can see it. Uh, just as a warning. You have to control this weight on the way down. And I kind of just got a little careless and let it just pop back down. And when you do that, that really puts your elbow in a, in a very precarious uh position situation whatever um so my elbow kind of felt it uh the reason i like doing the preacher curls though it keeps your your upper arms straight a lot of people like to swing the weight and that cheat so you don't get a chance to swing while you're on the preacher curl um right here i'm doing a stretch this is a stretch for your biceps now if you take your hands to the back and like try to point your thumbs like out like what I'm doing there that stretches your bicep uh, that thing where I was pulling my my hands down um, that's a stretch for the bicep and of course in the gym you have to turn around you know if you're wearing that shirt you have to turn around and take a look and see and see the work or whatever and uh, you know even though I still have a long way to go I'm, I'm kinda liking my progress I'm seeing so far Make sure you you know you get ample rest between your sets. I have a habit. You saw me licking my tongue out. I have a habit of when I'm just somewhere just kind of chilling. Sometimes my tongue would just stick out. I don't know where that's from. I know uh, it's probably weird if somebody's just looking at me. And I'm just licking my tongue out. I hope you know nobody's thinking I'm licking my tongue out at them because I'm not. Here I was uh, probably starting to get a little. Uh, uh, distracted so I had to stop and, and really just refocus back on my exercise what I'm doing now is it called a drop set I'm taking you can't see it now but I'm taking those uh, two smaller weights off to go ahead and, and get some more reps in obviously uh, it looks like uh, I could probably use being seated a little bit lower I may be up a little bit too high so I think next time I'll probably sit on the seat a little lower. Makes the exercise harder, but I mean, it works it better. Different camera angles so you can see the, the drop set. Uh, I think I did the, the last two sets were uh, drop sets. But uh, this exercise, this, this, uh, it felt pretty good. And I'm, you know, it's the next day I'm doing a voiceover and I can actually feel it in my biceps and uh, in my uh, forearms. Now, the bent curl, you know, you see the bent bar. You see how that bar I'm holding is bent. There's some that are straight and some that are bent. The bent ones you can do, you know, different hand spaces. Here, drop set again. Uh, usually this one is easier on the wrist, the way I'm holding it here. Uh, if you just use a straight, flat, uh, you know, a straight, not flat, a straight uh, bar. Some people, that tends to, you know, put stress on their wrist a little bit. So this one's a little easier with the hand movement. And we're going to put the weights. I'm not going to, this is etiquette, gym etiquette. I'm not going to leave the weights on the floor. I'm going to put these weights back on the bar at least. Uh, there was no weight tree to hang those weights up, but you know, we're not going to leave them on the floor because that's dangerous. Next one is going to be uh, press downs. This exercise works your triceps and to a lesser extent your front of your shoulders and your chest. If you lean forward, you hit your chest more if you lean back and keep your elbows kind of tight, uh, you know, closer to your body, 
and you work your triceps more. Different hand positions. I'm going to show you that machine is built for three different hand positions. So I'm going to show you the three hand positions. The first one I had was a uh, uh, close, you know what, I don't even know the name of it. But my palms were facing me. This one is going to be a wide one with the palms facing me. So that's the second hand position. And I think this probably is going to hit my chest a little more. At a certain point, I'm going to realize that I'm not doing this exercise. You know, I was starting to get a little sloppy. And you see me kind of adjust my elbows. Because my elbows are starting to flare out. <laughs> Look, I had on my face was funny. Okay, this is one, you know, the previous ones, my palms were facing my, you know, my body. Now they're facing behind me. look I have on my face is funny man I look like the fat guy uh, ready to go sit down at the table and eat that he just sang a song at the opera at the opera in church <laughs> I'm ready to eat some soul food <laughs> and then when I start it looks like I'm playing the trumpet Okay, when I do that, that's when I'm really just trying to power through my set. That's my why am I doing this look or my talking to God look, either one. So if you see that face, that look on my face, I'm either asking God, I'm either talking to God or I'm asking myself, why am I doing this? Now we're going to lighten the weight up a little bit and keep it going. And you know what? I think I might have left too much of this exercise in here. This better be my last set. I didn't need to show y'all all these reps. I think I showed you this one because this is the last set. And what I did was um, I went so I couldn't go anymore or to where I felt like I was getting sloppy. And then I was lightening up the weight. So I was taking it up two plates. Instead of down two plates to make it heavy, I was taking it up two plates to make it lighter to go ahead and finish Everybody, my stomach says hello. He don't want y'all to forget him. And this is to the point where it's uh, it's a little lighter, but it's still taxing. If you do this, you do the drop sets right at a certain point, like five pounds will feel heavy. And this is boring. I should have cut this out. Hey, let us in here now. I'll know next time. This is still a learning uh, process. If you're still here, I appreciate it. Because we're down to the last exercise. The last exercise is going to be my favorite dumbbell exercise, the hammer curls. Now, right here, there's a guy. You see I have the, the headphones on and people walk in the front, which is cool. I really don't mind if people walk in front because, I mean, it's a gym. You know, I'm not tripping like, oh, don't walk through my shot. I'm like, hey, it's a gym. People walk through. No problem. There's a guy he's going to walk through. and He's going to say something. And I, I, I did not hear it until I got home and reviewed the footage because I have my headphones on with music. Here, here he comes. Hey, what was that? Cool guy, nice guy. Now, see, the thing is, he was talking to me. I hope he doesn't think I'm like an arrogant butthole. I didn't hear him at all, so I didn't look at him. I didn't acknowledge him. I just went and grabbed my stuff and moved because, you know, I felt like I was in people's way. And I know now it probably looks like I just was a, uh, you know, a butt. Um, but, hey, guy, if you're watching this, I'm really not. I don't even remember what he looks like, so I can't even give him like a head nod when I see him at the gym again. So he's probably like, oh, that guy's a jerk. Anyway. And I kind of like doing this sometimes with my arms. I kind of like let them hang a little bit. 
I don't know. It just feels good. Uh, kind of gets a little stretched. Feels like more blood is going into them. It's mainly how you feel. Uh, another thing I need to learn to do is when I do voiceover is to cut my phone off. But this is my last set of hammer curls. The hammer curls work your biceps and your forearms, which is something I need. I think I need to, you know, bring my forearms up a little more. And, uh, you know, a lot of times I don't do just straight up forearm exercises because they get a little boring. But I'm, I'm going to incorporate them more. But I do the hammer curls because they do hit the forearms a bit. And uh, that's it for this workout. Let's go do some cardio. Thanks for watching. Okay. Got the arms done, biceps, triceps. Now I'm about to try to get some cardio in. Hopefully this gym's Wi-Fi is working, so maybe I can catch up on uh, on uh, Walking Dead or something. Okay, this gym's Wi-Fi sucks. No Walking Dead, no Bill Maher, no Netflix. I'm gonna have to go to Planet Fitness to go get some cardio and TV watching in at the same time. Whew. All right, that's done. I'm gonna catch pneumonia. I should have put a jacket on or cool, you know wipe some of the sweat off because it's a little chilly out here. Or like old boy from uh, the band said, making the band chop. <laughs> I'm going to catch ammonia. Yeah, he said, I'm going to catch ammonia. So, all right. Uh, two exercises for the triceps, two exercises for the biceps, and then 30 minutes of cardio. I didn't want to go too crazy because uh, I'm picking up my daughter tomorrow. We'll probably work out. And so I'll probably uh, be hitting some of these muscles again tomorrow. So I uh, just wanted to hit them. I, uh, yesterday I had a pretty hearty lunch. And um, I thought I was going to, uh, you know, just take it easy for dinner. End up having pizza for dinner. Spinach, but still pizza. Uh, two slices, I think. But they were thick slices. Two and a half thick slices. And so now, even though I'm starving, I'm just going to have a protein shake because I got a feeling I'm going to be eating hearty again tonight. So we're going to take it easy, the protein shake. I did have a good, good arm workout, though, and good cardio. All right, take it easy. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Sean Transforms. Sean Transforms. I'm actually gonna add the, the the little graphic, so I'm trying to see if I'm gonna put the graphic up top or at the bottom and look at it as it goes past. <laughs> All right, bye.